Hello and welcome. My name is Bernd Dippold, responsible at IMC for Testbench Sales, located in Berlin, Germany. In this video, we will introduce the design of IMC test benches. Let's start with the mechanical design. The test bench is based on an aluminium frame construction with a width of 1,60 m, 80 cm in depth and 1,50 m in height. The vertical section is divided in two areas. The lower section contains the electrical technical components. The upper area is the test bed and the security housing. With such a kind of design, you can test electrical motors up to 5 kW and 12,000 RPM. Construction and design of our test benches is based on European machinery regulation. Risk analysis is an essential part of the CE confirmation. All of our test benches will be shipped with English operation manual and technical documentation. The power supply of the test bench is done by free phase voltage with 32 amp on the backside of the test bench. The security lid prevents the operator against any kind of electrical and mechanical risk during the operation of the test bench. On the right side of the test bench you have the main switch, the security circuit switch on and off and the emergency shut off switch. The safety control of the test bench is done by a security PLC with a minimum performance level of D. This ensures that no risk is coming from the powertrain and the power supply while the security lid is open. On the left hand side of the test bench you see the measurement and control system of IMC. In this setup, the Kronos Flex 2000 base system with nine individual amplifiers. On the right hand side, within the 19 inch rack system, there is a test bench PC included. You see the power converter for brushless DC motors, the power supply, and the electrical load. In this specific setup, we use the power supply and the electrical load from AR. Through our modular concept, we can use power supplies from other manufacturers like Gossen Metrawatt or Delta as well. All other electrical components are installed inside of the test bench. Let's continue with the test room setup. The test room contains the electrical panels for the power connection of the motors. We have the test bed with a precisely aligned powertrain, which is adjustable by a ball bearing slide. The powertrain itself can be adapted to various customer needs. In this setup, we use an asynchronous motor for load machine. We have a dual range torque sensor and an adjustable test motor adapter. The modular design concept of our test benches allows us to use suppliers of other sensors as well. The alignment concept of the powertrain enables the user to change one torque sensor to another one without new alignment of the powertrain. For different motor types, we use different supply panels. This is a DC out of the power supply, the free phase voltage for BLDC motors, a very specific panel for loadless testing of DC motors, the fraud panel is for some free channels, measurement channels. And if the customer needs more enhancement to his test bench, we have on the back side a couple of possibilities for other amplifiers and measurement channels. In this example, four channels high voltage measurement or eight channels temperature measurement. Finally, I would like to demonstrate how easy motor testing is done with an IMC test bench. For this, we have prepared a test motor, which is a steering wheel motor, typically used in the automotive industry. We have a brushless DC motor. The electrical termination is done with three phase wires. The test motor clutch is already installed. and we will connect the power supply to the corresponding power supply panel and we have the sense connectors for the measurement channels. Next step is to connect the torque sensor to the device under test. And finally, 
we use a safety clutch to connect the load machine to the torque sensor. We see the powertrain set up with the test motor, motor holder and motor coupling, a high resolution angle sensor, dual range torque sensor, safety coupling and an asynchronous motor as load machine. After preparation of the test motor, we close the safety lid and the safety circuit and we start to prepare the test do some metadata like the project ID or the serial number of the test motor. We select the proper parameters for this case of test motor, which is the voltage, current, speed, torque, and so on. And finally, we go to the selection of tests we have here. We go on start. The test is prepared. During the preparation, the configuration data are loaded back to the automation system. We see that the security card is checked, the controller data are downloaded to the system, and right after this is finished, we see that the panel is switching over to the live measurement data, and we see now here the speed data, torque data, current and voltage. In that case, the commutation of the motor is done. We see that it is running a little bit, and now we ramp up and down for measuring the performance data of the motor. So this takes only a couple of seconds. The test is nearly finished and after the measurement data are taken all, it's switching to the end panel. We open the measurement data, which are inside of a folder system and short after the test is finished, the PDF is available as well. This easy is doing a test with an IMC test bench. Thank you for your interest in our test benches. I hope you could see how easy motor testing can be done with IMC. In the next video, we will demonstrate more detail the functionality of our test bench software. I hope I can welcome you as well. Thank you and goodbye.